Hey guys, it is Gordon here with One Maniac Reviews, and today we are talking about the newest expansion to Grand Theft Auto, and that is Grand Theft Auto After Hours. Now, within this, we see the return of Gay Tony from the Ballad of Gay Tony from Grand Theft Auto 4, and you get to set up your own nightclub. Now, the nightclub itself actually does look very nice. They've put a lot of work into the texturing and into all the reflective services and how the nightclub looks. But my problem with the nightclub is that it takes 60 hours to fill the warehouse. Yes, six zero hours. And that's only for about 114 cargo shipments. I know the largest warehouse in the game only holds 111, so this gives you an extra three cargo shipments, but each cargo shipment is only worth $10,000. And unlike when selling from your warehouse with your CEO business, you don't get that stacking that you get. So in the warehouse, the more you sell, the more it's worth. In this, it seems like every single one is only worth $10,000 unless you turn on all of your businesses and you're selling different businesses all lumped together in one big sale, then you're going to get a little bit of a better return. But you're also going to be losing out because all of the staffing and running all of those other businesses costs you money every day. Now, the nightclub itself does make you $10,000 per day, but the running cost on it right now is $1,100, and I don't even have all of the upgrades to it. So I'm going to guess the ones you put all the upgrades and everything into it, it's going to eat probably about 5,000 of that 10,000 that it makes you every day. And as the days go on, the popularity of your nightclub goes down. So you then need to turn around and do different missions to boost the popularity of your club. Now, what Take Two is doing very well with this is over the next month, they are going to be releasing different DJs for your club. And so right now everyone has Simeon and then next week another DJ is going to be able to be picked up and so on and so forth for the next month. So if you already have Grand Theft Auto 5, at least this was free DLC, but it is going to nickel and dime you on all of the upgrades and, of course, there's going to be all of the cars and whatnot that are released for it that are all going to be $10, $15, $20 each unless you spend hours in the game grinding. So, I'm going to go and get back to grinding and get some more cars and whatnot in the game. And if you are liking my videos, please hit that like button. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Keep coming back for more if you have any thoughts that differ from my own about the DLC, please let me know down in the comments. We can have a polite conversation. As always, be awesome to one another, and I'm going to go ahead and cue that music.